So today I have a photo shoot, but I did not bring a camera with me. Instead, I have someone from Nikon who has flown here to give me the camera. So would you say you're babysitting the camera? That's exactly. So the policy is there has to be a Nikon person with any unreleased product. Yeah. So you don't just send out cameras. Yeah. So there has to be someone to handle. It's like the handler of the camera. Exactly. Very interesting, I didn't know that. It's an unreleased camera. I don't know what I'm shooting with. I've never seen it before. Today we're doing a reveal of this new Nikon camera. I'm a little nervous because I don't know how the interface is gonna be, but I'm ready to see this. I think you're gonna love your first Nikon. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is very interesting. Oh, there's tape on it. Oh, it looks just like a film camera. Yes, it looks like the old FM2. But it's wow. Like okay, upon first glance, this looks very technical and it could be intimidating for those who maybe are not used to so many dials, but for me, this, this looks pretty standard. Okay, so first impressions. Yeah, it definitely looks like a film camera. Like the build of it, it's it's lightweight, it's nice. I like the build, not too bulky. Let's see the screen. There's a screen in the back. I'm so scared to break anything. <laughs> it's okay, it's an icon, I can take it. Okay, I just throw it. He's like, ma'am, please. He comes back with no camera. He's like, um, something happened. And I do need a lens. Do you have a lens for me here? I do. I have a 40 millimeter <laughs> F2 SE, which is the special edition lens. Special yes. edition, yes. okay. So lightweight. Oh my, this is crazy. I think this is lighter than the other portrait lenses that I use. This is great because when you travel, you don't want to take anything that's too bulky, at least for me. So. I already like this. So this one is the 40 millimeter F2 and it's special edition. Why is it special edition? Because it's 40 uh, millimeter. We have two versions of this lens. That one looks a little bit classic with the silver aluminum ring as well as this part right here. Oh, it nice. Nikon's older uh, lenses. So this is supposed to resemble like the older version of Nikon. Yes, it pairs very well with this camera. Again, I've never used the Nikon camera before, so I'm not really familiar with the um, interface, but it's actually really easy to use. This I would assume is shutter speed. Yes. Simple. And this I would assume is ISO. Correct. At first, I was like, wow, there's a lot of uh, numbers here, but honestly, it's pretty standard, very simple. When I first saw this, I was like, wow, there's, it feels like a lot is going on, but it's actually not extremely simple. I think if you're a professional photographer, this would be no problem. I think the average person, you put this in their hands, they're like, okay, we got a little bit of a manual reading here to do. We have an automatic mode for that. Oh, there's an automatic mode. See, I don't know automatic, I don't use automatic mode, you know? We're manual here, we're the manual team. That is great, I will not be using automatic mode, but it's nice to know that if someone is not professional photographer, they can use that. We have the, all the all the good settings here. They've, they've come to the party. I've never used an icon before, so if I can learn it in five seconds, I think any photographer can learn it, which is a, is a great thing. You don't have to worry about not being able to know how to use all these buttons. You know, a lot of buttons can be very intimidating. Okay, what else do I need to know? This is a vlogging screen here. That is correct. Uh, so the vlogging screen, if you're going to do video with this camera, it'll do up to 4K 60 uh, or it'll do 4K 30. That's over sample from 6K. And this lens is so lightweight. That's crazy to me. Today we're shooting with the Nikon ZF. Just to let you guys know, this is my opinion and first impressions of this camera. It's not necessarily a camera review. I'm just giving my thoughts on what I think of this camera. And also, this is simply a pre-production model. Keep that in mind. Don't worry, I won't run off with the camera that's unreleased to the public. Nikon's gonna send me an email, ma'am. We have a court date with you. Okay, now either there's a duck in there because I see bubbles or it's drowning down there and I kind of want to go in and save it. We got the ducks here. Can you, you guys are swimming a little fast, don't you think? His name is Henry. Henry, can you come back real quick? Can you just do a U-turn? It definitely reminds me of film. That's the first thing I said when I saw it. As a professional photographer, it took me about 30 seconds to get around using all the dials and things like that. Kind of already knew what each dial was just based on the numbers. But again, I have 10 years of experience. So if you are someone who maybe is not that familiar with manual settings, I would definitely familiarize yourself just a little bit. If you're someone who does not care about settings, use, use the auto setting right here you'll be good to go. Even if, if you're a professional photographer and you know how to use cameras well, you still have a, you have a learning curve. 
So it's my first time using this. Let me lower the... I kind of want to use the 40. Look at this, I could get used to this. Just I toss my camera to someone, they change the lens. That's the kind of life I want to live. I need help. <laughs> we both need help. And I'm shooting F2 right now. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. What does this camera even remind you of? Like one of those like old school filmy ones. That's exactly what I thought, yeah. yeah. The first thing I said was, oh, it looks like film. Yeah. Okay, the duck came back, Henry's here. Okay, Henry. Henry, come back. He He's probably in a hurry. Okay, wait, actually there was a nice light. Let me see right here. And then towards me a little bit, move towards me again. How are your eyes? Are they okay? Let's get you in the shade. We want to do all types of light with this camera. That duck in the back, I don't want to see you. I already gave you a chance. He's going to come up. He's trying to be in the picture now. You, you had your chance and you squandered it. Okay, yeah, we need some shade. So it takes a second. Oh, there we go. The EVF. I'm not used to really using an EVF, to be honest with you. Those are awesome, stay right there. Gorgeous, stay right there, don't move. Don't move, I'm gonna get your whole body now. And I'm shooting really fast to see how it works. And it's shooting quite fast. I'm gonna get even closer in. Look at that! <laughs> That's, That's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Look who's back. Trying to steal the show. I mean, two minutes ago you were running from me. Now that I have someone new, I have Kendall. Now he wants to be in my life. How about you looking straight ahead, out there? And have the other leg out. Yeah, like, yes, just like that, yeah. Good. Could you turn a little bit more to, yeah, 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 they're like that, that's cute. Now is not a good time, Henry. It's too late, I've moved on. Okay, I did want to photograph over there. Let's do some like really like close up ones too. I think do some like covering, like kind of like this, yeah. A little bit, looking at me? Great, beautiful. Bring in the shoulder like this, yeah. I want you laying, but I also don't want you to lay on poop. We just have to be vigilant. I will say I do prefer to see the changes being made in the EVF versus having to take a picture and change it every single time for a DSLR. Have your arm out a little bit, or like, yeah, just like that, perfect. And I'm gonna switch here and do back lift. It's like we're shooting at such a basic area, so I'm trying to make it still look beautiful. Keep moving, just a little bit, little movements. Yeah, great job. Great, love that. These are, these are really cool, wow. Good light. Move your arm a little bit, yeah. Great job. I love this, this type of light. I just get this angle to where the grass shows. Oh, my hair is in the shot. Gorgeous, great job, I love these. So we're on the second look of our photo shoot today. I'm using a 24 to 70 2.8 lens by Nikon. I normally use a 24 to 70, so this is great. So far, it's easy to use. I'm having no problems whatsoever using it. The quality is great. Pictures are coming out fantastic. No issues whatsoever. You know, the number one concern when you do switch to another camera brand is, again, will I be able to learn it? Is it gonna be easy to use? For me, that is really important. And obviously, the image quality. Beautiful, the screen is really nice, the EVF is beautiful. It's not lagging, I'm taking like a million pictures right now. Not lagging one time, and I'm moving around. Let me move around and see. It's keeping the focus for every picture, it's not lagging. Let's have you um, maybe like sitting down, can you be sitting down right here? Stay right here. Yeah, I would like to be able to just see the picture without having to press the play button. That is crazy, it's keeping focus, it's working great. You know, 
what he told me that black and white could be a cool I'm gonna shoot in black and white there's a button dedicated just for black and white and I'm gonna do a few shots with that yeah. let's try it isn't that crazy that is wow <laughs> I kind of prefer that I kind of like the black and white it makes it look more artistic. It does. I, I'm kind of loving it. And here, I want you to look in here. Like, look look straight through here. Oh, cool. You're seeing everything in black and white. Yeah. The black and white feature is cool. And it's like a button, so you just go to it. Okay, that, that's cool. I like that. I post this on Instagram, like 5,000 likes. It looks so pretty. It's very artsy. That ends the video today with the Nikon ZF. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much, Kendall, for modeling today. Of course. What did you think about the pictures? I loved them. 